In a big move just days after his huge victory over Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk has been stripped of his IBF heavyweight title. This decision comes hot on the heels of Usyk's monumental achievement in becoming the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 25 years. The move, while shocking to some fans, was not entirely unexpected. The IBF's mandatory challenger, Filip Hergovic, has been waiting in the wings for his title shot for 18 months. During this period, Hergovic accepted two offers of step-aside money allowing Usyk to first face Anthony Joshua and then Tyson Fury. The IBF's strict enforcement of its mandatory challenger rules meant that Usyk's victory, historic though it was, could not shield him from the obligations of title defense. Looking ahead, the IBF is expected to place a now vacant title up for grabs in Philip Hergovich's next fight against Daniel Dubois. This highly anticipated bout will take place in just 11 days on the Queensberry vs. Madrum Promotions 5v5 card. The IBF's commitment to maintaining the integrity of its title matches, even against the interests of larger promotional companies, is noteworthy. Unlike other organizations, the IBF ensures that mandatory fights are fulfilled stripping titles if necessary to maintain fairness and order within the sport. The winner of the Hergovic vs. Dubois fight is anticipated to face Anthony Joshua later in the year. Following that, the victor of this clash is slated to meet the winner of the expected rematch between Fury and Usyk in early 2025. This chain of events promises to keep the heavyweight division in a state of exciting flux, with several high-stakes matches on the horizon. The IBF's firm stance contrasts sharply with the practices of other boxing organizations, which often yield to promotional pressures. For instance, Jamal Charlo did not defend his WBC middleweight title for almost three years, which is a prime example of how lax enforcement can undermine the sport's competitive integrity. Usyk's situation draws parallels with the events surrounding the Errol Spence and Terence Crawford fight last summer. Crawford dominated Spence with a ninth round TKL to unify the welterweight division. However, Spence, like Usyk, had an unfulfilled mandatory IBF challenge in Jerron Ennis. When Crawford opted not to face Ennis, the IBF stripped him of his title, illustrating the organization's unwavering adherence to its rules. The implications of the IBF's actions could significantly reshape the heavyweight landscape. On one hand, their form enforcements ensure that mandatory challengers receive their rightful opportunities, preserving the sport's integrity. On the other hand, it can disrupt the plans of champions and promotional companies, sometimes leading to controversial title strips. In conclusion, while the IBF's decision to strip Usyk of his title is controversial, it underscores the organization's dedication to maintaining a fair and competitive boxing environment. As the heavyweight division deals with this, the actions taken by the IBF will undoubtedly influence the sport's future, highlighting both the benefits and challenges of stringent regulatory enforcement. Thank you guys for listening to what I have to say. If you guys like this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.